Imagine designing this on your lunch break. In this short tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to effectively use Beltrights Design Studio. To start, you can either customize a pre-made product or you can click Design Studio, New, and Start from Scratch. Either way, your design will be based on a grid. These grids are there to snap your tile into place. Because of this, only certain shapes show up on each grid. For example, the hex tile won't show up on the square grid, and the square tile won't show up on the hex grid. The only grid that allows for all shapes is the freeform grid. You can always change the grid by selecting the pattern you like in the bottom left corner, but be careful because this action will override any design you're currently working on. You can always use the save buttons on the top row to come back to a design later. In the freeform grid, you can change the rotation by using this feature here. To change the dimensions, click grid size and adjust the numbers here. You can toggle between add tiles and select tiles by using the V and escape keys on your keyboard. The select tiles feature is helpful if you want to move a tile to a different spot on the grid system. To undo, use the undo button or redo. It's important to note that most of these tiles have a drop down that shows their different orientations. The 12 inch by 12 inch square is the only one with engraved patterns. For example, this parallel square looks exactly like four mini shiplap put together. If you see a tile turn red, that's the studio telling you that you're about to overlap a tile. If the dimensions are larger than your computer screen, you can use this move grid button and the zoom in and out buttons will also be helpful. A shortcut is to hold the space key, click and drag. To delete a tile, you can click delete here or use the key on your keyboard. The select all tool is helpful if you want to move an entire design or delete the whole thing. Let's say we want to copy this pattern into the empty space here. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole design. I'm going to click the lasso tool and highlight the pattern that I need. From here, I'm going to click copy and drag the pattern to the empty space. You can also choose to cut the segment and paste it somewhere else. In order to customize the colors, click on the color you would like to change. You must then find that color on the left hand side and notice that the name changes as well. Click the select all tab and from here change it to whatever color you like. Let's do that one more time by changing periwinkle to slate blue. From here you can save your design, share it with somebody else, or check out. Now that you're a Design Studio Pro, go out there and create something you love.